He wants us for the love of Christ to shine as brightly as we can with the reflected light of his character. But he doesn't expect us to shine as bright as the sun itself. He expects us, though, to be full moons for Jesus. Do I hear an amen? My friends, I want to repeat that. God does not expect us to shine as bright as the sun, but he does expect us to shine as bright as we can. He expects us, in other words, to be what? Full moons. Remember in our first study when we looked at Isaiah chapter 60? Jesus is symbolized by the sun. The church is symbolized by the what? The moon. What's the only way the moon can shine? By reflecting the light of the sun. And we must learn to shine from glory to glory, from a crescent moon to a quarter moon, to glory to a half moon, to glory to a three-quarter moon, until finally we're what? A full moon. But even a full moon is but a what? faint reflection of the divine beauty of the Son of Righteousness. Do I hear an amen? But God expects us, for the love of Christ, to shine as bright as we can. According to two things, follow this, please understand this. All the light we have and according to our ability to reflect that light. Those are the two qualifiers. What are the two things God holds us accountable for? The light that we have and the capacity we have to what? Reflect that light. Does that vary from one person to another? Come on, does it? Why, of course. So does God count us all responsible for the same standard? But he does hold us responsible for the light we've received and the ability we have to reflect that light. And this, by the way, is precisely why we dare not go around judging each other. Do I hear an amen? Because we have different light and we have different abilities to walk in that light and reflect that light. And by the way, please note as well that both light and ability are always to be what? Increasing. Amen?